In July 1940, engineers in the U.S. constructed the third longest suspension span in the world at that time, which is called Tacoma Narrows Bridge. It used to be also called the Galloping Gertie Bridge because it was so flexible. But after four months of opening it, the bridge started facing large oscillations and wind induced motions. As we can see here, causing it to shake and then eventually causing it to collapse. As civil engineers, guys, we need to understand what's going on and analyze it and start finding solutions to avoid this in the future. Let's, let's see what are the reasons. Engineers found two reasons for the collapse of the Tacoma Bridge. The first one, what we call, is resonance. To explain resonance, it's actually the natural frequency of the structure matches the input frequency or the ratio of the input frequency to the natural frequency equals to 1. And the input frequency is that can be wind, seismic, any source of vibration, right, which is here. When this is 1, we will start having resonance. But the resonance can really affect the structure depending on the damping of the structure. When we, we call it disastrous resonance when, we, when there is no damping of a structure and the ratio equals to 1, that means the structure will start having huge oscillations and then fail, which is this curve, the red curve. But even after you add some damping, you can reduce the resonance effect. So the first reason was that this bridge really faced huge resonance. But is that the only reason? for causing this collapse or for causing this uh, damaging of the, of the bridge? No. The engineers, engineers found second reason for this, what we call vortex shedding, okay, which is caused by the oscillations. Actually, what happened is a different kind of oscillation started. The bridge was experiencing a torsional twist. As shown here we can see we can look back in the video so as we can see here the bridge started to experience a torsional motion like twisting motion and this really has to do with the aerodynamics and the cross-sectional of the bridge and this will cause up down to the bridge section up down up down causing it to swing and this will cause too much stresses in the suspension cables of the bridge and the cables failed and so the bridge collapsed down so what we this is just a quick explanation of what ha, what is happening and you can see in the below picture i did in the answers that what is what do you mean by vortex shedding when the wind start to face multiple buildings or a single building even the wind start to oscillate and start to cause turbulence movements so if this is the cross-sectional area they want to start doing this stuff, right? And also here. Anyway, so this is the reason. Now let's go for the solutions. Two possible solutions, but these are not the only solutions. Um, just the first one will be adding dampers. Adding dampers is something that is really expensive, but it's really effective. So if we add dampers here, these are called viscous dampers. They can mitigate the wind-induced motions, and of course, adding damper to the structure is really good. That because it will reduce the resonance effect. Also, here there is another photo of a damping here, which is a called viscous damper. From two different bridges, I just googled them. The first solution is the easier solution, which is changing the bridge, the geometry of the bridge or a structure. If we talk about the building, to mitigate the turbulence. Right, so the cross sectional area of the comma bridge was something like that. If we change this or change the aerodynamics of this section, that would really reduce or even prevent uh, the turbulence and the vortex shedding to occur. Um, for example, let's look at the, the bridge. So if that's the bridge section and the wind is inducing from this direction, I mean, it's a simple idea to add a 
a gap in the middle in the bridge here so it will be in the cross section somewhere here that can disturb the wind movements right and then it will neutralize the turbulence probably uh, preventing the vortex shedding i mean that's a simple one simple solution there are many solutions but that's what i have in mind for now um hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching